from the KATC Weather Lab. Here's Bradley's forecast. Welcome back. Well, good news stayed on the cooler side of 100 today. Bad news temperatures still running well above normal, especially for early September, mid to upper 90s this afternoon. That's where they're going to remain over the next uh, several days. Rain chance is sticking around as well, similar to today, tomorrow, and then they'll look to peak as we head into Labor Day there on Monday thereafter. Uh, rain chances trending downward. Heat's going to start to sneak back up on us a little bit, so we'll get to that in just a second. First off, here's the upper level pattern, and if you were with us the past couple of days, we were uh, keeping an eye on this area of low pressure, and uh, you know, we talked about how it was going to be drifting westward here through the course of the weekend. Initially, past couple of days, it was just east of us, keeping a lot of that deep tropical moisture more so towards Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. Today, it has drifted westward, thus starting to drag in some uh, Gulf moisture locally here into Acadiana and that did help to generate uh, a scattering of some showers and storms, especially this afternoon, early this evening after uh, actually delayed the UL game for a little bit there over at uh, Cajun Field and you can kind of see the general swirl of things here and uh, just the randomness of the shower and storm activity uh, late this afternoon. Western Acadiana picked up a decent soaking portions of uh, St. Landry Parish as well, but pretty much all that shower activity has come to an end late this evening. Uh, we're tracking one lone shower uh, down there in Vermilion Bay, but that is starting to rain itself out as well. So uh, not really foreseeing any major issues now for the rest of tonight. Mild conditions, mid to upper 70s uh, by tomorrow morning. And uh, of course, it'll be muggy out there as well. So here we go into the tropics. Still busy. Two tropical storms swirling out here in the Atlantic. Gert and Katia even further off to the east. But these are not going to be uh, a threat to any sort of land masses. So good news there. Uh, meanwhile, health the tropical wave has come off the African coast uh, that now has a 70% chance to develop over the next seven days. We'll have to keep an eye on it because it's going to be on a westward track, at least initially after that, uh, more speculation than not. Uh, but uh, hopefully it misses the uh, Caribbean islands. It doesn't get too close uh, to the eastern U.S. And again, hopefully it just recurves harmlessly out into the Atlantic down the line, but still plenty of time to watch. And uh, of course, that's what we're going to do here over the next several days. Meanwhile, our forecasts uh, pretty much similar tomorrow as what we saw today going to start out mid to upper 70s and like today and early this morning uh, we could see a couple coastal showers and storms first thing tomorrow morning and some of that activity is going to try to build inland uh, for the rest of Acadiana during the afternoon and early evening hours not everyone's going to get wet but rain chances will sit at around 30 to 40 percent high temperatures mid to upper 90s heat indices likely sneaking into the triple digits with that humidity and full force. Here we go into Labor Day. Monday going to start out mid to upper 70s and uh, we'll push into the mid 90s. Or we'll say low to mid 90s uh, for our Monday afternoon. I think we'll even see a slightly better scattering of some showers and storms as well. That's when we'll uh, see rain, ch rain chances peaking at around 60%. That's when we'll have our uh, greatest amount of low level moisture in place and enough atmospheric lift. Thereafter, rain chances trending downward. So here we go. Temperature wise, mid to upper 70s. First thing tomorrow morning most of us easily push into the mid 90s tomorrow afternoon under partly cloudy sky 77 your projected low tonight quiet night ahead mild and muggy out there and then for tomorrow pretty good mixture of sunshine and clouds and we'll call it widely scattered showers and storms for the afternoon early evening hours but some coastal storms first thing in the morning like today 95 your projected high winds east to southeasterly at around 5 to 10 miles per hour rain chances peaking 60% on Labor Day 93 your projected high there 93 as well into Tuesday but look at rain chances trending lower especially as the week wears on and that means the heat is going to start to sneak back up on us uh, mid to upper 90s especially as next week wears on into the following weekend as well overnight lows holding steady for the most part mid to upper 70s out there over the next several nights. Taylor? Yeah, I know with all this warm weather we're having, warm, hot weather we're having, my prediction, I think we talked off camera, it's going to be a cold winter. Now, don't hold me to that, but I think that's... Yeah, well, two reasons. The atmosphere likes to balance itself, number one, but two, El Nino winters tend to be a little colder here. Yep. In so Until see. then, wake me up when September <laughs> ends. No, I'm just kidding. We'll